Hey guys, it's Alpha Seen here. I just woke up out of my bed and I'm going to be showing you the video on how to install those free games on the PS Vita and the PSP. So let's get right into it. Alright guys, now to connect the PS Vita to the PC, what you want to do is plug in the cable and instead of using Content Manager, you're going to be using Vita Shell. So go inside and just press select. And now we're going to go on to the PC and show you what applications you need to transfer and install on your PlayStation Vita. So let's do it. All right, guys, we're here on the PC and now I'm going to be showing you what applications you need to install onto your PS Vita so you can get those free games. So what you want to do is go to this website right here, which will be in the link in the description below. So it's the pkgj.vpk. Download that bugger. I already have it so I'm not going to be doing it. Then what you want to go to is auto plugin. Download the latest one .vpk. If the latest one does not work for some reason, I remember one of these ones was not working for me. Just download an older one like 3.86 or 3.87 and does the same thing anyway. And then the last thing you want to get adrenaline so you can get those PSP games as well. Yeah. And you want to get the VPK file for that as well. Do not download anything else, just the .vpk files for all three of them. And yeah, that's pretty much all you need for the downloading part. So we go back onto the desktop. I already have them downloaded right here. I want to go here. I want to go to the PS Vita. I want to click view. And then you want to show hidden items. If this is not showing, watch my first video on how to hack any PS Vita firmware or downgrade any PS Vita firmware and I show you what you need to do to get these files shown. So here you can see I have some enzo.modaru so what you want to do is just transfer these three files I'm going to show you right now onto the root of the PS Vita device. So these are all shortcuts for some weird reason. Let me see. What happened there? Bam. Well, one by one, I'll do it then. Bam. Bam. Delete this. And there we go. Those files are transferred onto the PS Vita. Now I'm going to be going onto the PS Vita and showing you what you need to do next. Boom. <laughs> Alright, guys, we're back onto the PS Vita. Now, where you want to go is exit this. Scroll all the way down, and you can see Adrenaline, Auto Plugin, and Enzo. Sorry, PKJG, Enzo we already installed. So what you want to do is click Circle, or X, whatever region PS Vita you have, and install it. Easy as that. Next, you go Auto Plugin, install it. Easy as pie again. Next, PKGJ, install that as well. That's so hard to say, PKGJ. Bam, install that little bastard. 100, go back to the menu. And you can see we have auto plugin, adrenaline and PKGJ all installed onto your PS Vita. Now I'll be showing you the next step, what you need to do, so you don't need to go into the PC for now anymore. I'm pretty sure you don't need to go into the PC at all anymore to do any of these. So what you need to do is open up Auto Plugin. Alright guys, I had to do an update for the Auto Plugin. Now what you want to do is install the non-PDPRM, whatever it's called, onto your PS Vita. So click Plugins for Vita, Install Plugins, and go all the way down until you find the non-DPRM here by the official flow you want to click circle or X whatever region PS Vita you is and you will install to the UR0 right here which is in green you want to click the shoulder button and install it on the UX0 as well I installed it on both just in case there's any problems because I installed it on one one time and it just wasn't working I couldn't download games or whatever so now I installed it in both and I never had any problems after you won't lose any space it's only like a couple of kilobytes to install anyway now we want to go back extras and you want to click options for config pkgj you just want to open it up and if you have an error opening this up what you want to do 
is get out of here. So exit. It will restart, that's fine. So this is very important because if you have an error, you need to do this if the options.pkgj doesn't open in the auto plugin application. You want to open pkgj hit triangle and click refresh and that will just refresh the list and it will download it can take like 30 seconds depending on your internet speed or it can take up to 4 or 5 minutes depending how fast your internet is and then if you go into the auto plugin into the option I just showed you before it's going to be open so you just go in there click the op option button go back in the auto plugin the options menu for the PKGJ go back and exit just like I did it will restart and then you're set to go now you want to install adre adrenaline go inside it's going to say blah 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 press X to download the PSP 6.41 firmware we want to click X now it's going to start downloading it so this is also depending on internet speed my internet speed isn't very fast so I'm going to speed this part up for you guys so when the adrenaline downloads the PSP update file it's going to take you back to the main menu what you want to do is just open it up again and then you want to click X to install the PSP 6.61 firmware on your memory card and now it's going to be installing it so I'm going to fast forward this guys and I'm going to be um, seeing you when it's done so the firmware has been installed what you want to do is click X and now it's actually booting into the PSP firmware so here you are guys this is pretty much what it looks like this is a PSP this is pretty much a PSP running on the PlayStation Vita so literally like having two consoles all in one so what you want to do is go through the setup process I'm sure you guys already know what to do click your time zone and then that's pretty much it I'm gonna be closing the application because I'm not gonna be using that right now and now finally what you want to do is go to PKGJ this is it this is where you get those games you want to hit the triangle and you just choose whichever options you want if you if you're from Japan you just want to click this one and then the region is going to be installing all the games from Japan if you're from USA you want to click USA or if you want to have them all on you can have them all on you can be really adventurous and then I'll just hit triangle and then it will keep like this so a game that I'm going to install to demonstrate for you guys is gonna be good old Rezo Gun. That's always a good game to install. And install game. Just click circle or X on it. It says installation of Rezo Gun queued in live area. I'm gonna go back and you can see it's gonna be downloading the game right here. So my internet is really bad, you can see a 218 megabyte file is taking me 27 minutes to download. But yeah, it's pretty much going to install on your home screen just like any other normal game. So what you want to do is just click it, run it, don't worry about being banned, don't worry about anything, you're going to be able to play whatever game you want and you can just go in back in here and you download whatever you want again. I'm using the one gigabyte internal memory card if you guys want you can install the SD to Vita video you can you, you guys can install the SD to Vita which is like a card where you put a micro SD card inside and then you put it in the um, game slot above and then you get the cheaper upgrade version for your memory so instead of having to pay a hundred bucks for a 64 gigabyte memory card for the PlayStation Vita you guys are gonna be able to get pay like 20 bucks and get a 64 memory card and plug it in via the game card slot and get more memory for a cheaper price so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed my tutorial videos on how to hack the ps vita you finally got the free games and i hope you guys enjoy your day make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and i'll catch you guys next time